Hello, you fellow musicians and gamers out there. This is Quina Gaming here, and I am here with the next part of Let's Play Tekken 3. And I am going to be playing as. Lei Wu Long. Yes, that's right. We're playing as Lei. Now, it's been a long time since I've played Tekken 3 on the channel, so I'm looking forward to doing this again. So. We've got Paul as the first stage. A very warm welcome indeed. Funny thing is, when I was doing practice mode, I. Uh, like, I practiced with Lei for a little bit before I started recording this, and oddly enough, I could not do that first grappling move right there. I don't know why. The game just would not let me do it for some reason. Don't know why. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Right. Let's do the fancy moves there. There we go. Now, I have not played as Lei Wu Long in, like, in any Tekken game for a while. Not since, like, Tekken 2, actually. And... Lei's story in the Tekken series is this, like in, well he first got introduced in Tekken 2, he was never in the first Tekken game, and his role in this game is like, he's a, a police officer, and he was tracking down uh, Kazuya in the last tournament, as well as uh, one of his bodyguards named Bruce Irvin, uh, who's not in this game, Bruce is not in this game, but, Round one. Uh, he was tracking down Bruce and Kazuya, mainly because like, Bruce was involved with like, you know, the killing innocent civilians and uh, Kazuya was involved with the animal uh, smuggling and the assassinations. That's how uh, Lei was uh, trying to get uh, Kazuya arrested. But in this game, well, well, what happened during Tekken 2 was Lei ended up uh, defeating Bruce in Tekken 2, canonically speaking, but he didn't end up making it to Kazuya because I think he ended up losing to Heihachi, I believe, because uh, Heihachi was the one who made it into the the final round against Kazuya. But so far I'm getting on really well with Lei here. I mean, I've gotten a perfect against King in one of the rounds, but I feel like that lucky streak is now going to end uh, with Eddie here. Because you know what Eddie's like, he's just all you just need to do with Eddie is just spam the kick button and that's it, you're done. <laughs> and that's all, that's all it takes with Eddie. But no, I am looking forward to uh, completing this game along with uh, Crash of the Titans, as I said in my update video, because I want to get these projects like finished quite quickly, because uh, I, want, I am really looking forward to covering the NCN Trilogy and seeing what that's like. I'm sure it'll be brilliant. I don't see why it wouldn't be bad at all, so we'll see what, what happens. But as far as it goes for the Tekken series, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing what Tekken 7's like, but I'm a little bit anxious as to how they're going to fold up the story here, but considering it's about Kazuya and Heihachi's final fight. And this series has mainly been all about them, like, trying to settle the score between the two of them. So, I think what's going to happen is one of them is probably going to die. One, uh, Either Kazuya or Heihachi are going to die. And I can't believe that that, that didn't work. I can't believe that that didn't stop me, that kick. Unless if uh, Wing Chayo was not able to get the kick in time. See, Lee can do a lot of fancy moves, that's what I like about him in this. And I better not jinx anything, because like I said, I mean, I'm getting on well with Lee, but I don't want to jinx her now, because, uh, you know, I'm doing so well. But I'm always good at doing that, for some reason. Alright, there we go, punch the face and that's that done. So now it's time to face, oh, Yoshimitsu is in stage 5, yeah, oh! Like I said in one of the previous Tekken parts, I actually look back on some of my Tekken videos, or er, Tekken 3 videos, and I did mention that the opponent selections are like really random. Like there's no uh, destined fight for stage 8 or rival fight for stage 8. It's all random, which doesn't really make any sense. Oh no, right, okay, Yoshimitsu's won the start of serious fight. Okay, if you want a serious fight, Yoshimitsu, you're gonna get it. Oh, oh no, oh, damn it, okay, right, I thought I had him there, but I didn't. Okay, Yoshimitsu, you want to bring a serious fight? Let's do this. I thought I could fool him there. See, I, fi I find it funny, right? I always keep thinking Lei's going to do a an impactful move there when you hold cir Circle next, but look, but really it's all about them just tackling him to the ground. That's all it is. That's what I quite like about Lei's move there, because you think he's going to do something drastic, but he's not. He's only just fooling you. He just plays mind games with you. Alright, let's take this to a final round and see what happens. Hopefully, I won't have to get a game over here, because if that happens, I'll be pretty disappointed. Oh, no, you don't. No no lightsaber or sword for you. Honestly, like, when I mean, you look at the sword, right? It looks like a lightsaber to me. It really does. I don't know why. A more dangerous one, if you ask me. 
because it is actually like a sword like it's just really sharp but no i think the sword was glowing i'm not sure why yoshimish's wow, sword is glowing like that and it's because we've got brian fury one of the unlockable characters for stage six in the same area mind you as paul's uh, fight oh no you don't it's interesting how... Oh, whoa, did I just counter him? Okay, so maybe that's what that does, right? Okay, I just learned something uh, useful with Lay there. You can counter moves there. Oh, just got a great there against Brian Fury. And I bet he'll be furious about that. Nah. <laughs> okay, enough of these stupid puns. But yeah, uh, that's... I bet you'll be furious about that. Nah, okay, I better stop now. In case I, I really annoy some people with my puns. But as far as it goes for Lay's character design in this, I like it a lot better than Tekken 2. Like, Tekken 2's character design, he looked quite weird if you ask me, but this one is uh, far more complete in my opinion. Alright, stage 7, we've got Warang as uh, stage 7. Round one. Fight. I cannot believe I still have not had an opponent. I was going to say, I can't believe I still have not had an opponent that's given me huge trouble yet, but I think that might be the case with uh, Warang. He may actually end up uh, giving me my first defeat here. Yeah, I'm very confident now when I say that because I screw up that punch there and oh, no, I don't. Oh, okay, good, a low kick to the knee and that settles it. But yeah. I am tempted to do a Let's Play of Tekken 7 as well, but I'll need to play through Tekken 4, 5, and 6 first, like off screen, before I can do this so I can get like prior knowledge to what happens in the story. And yeah, okay, right. I knew he was probably going to defeat me there. No, he don't. Oh, no. Right, there we go. That's better. Oh, no. Right, no, double kick. No, that's not good. Oh. I'm looking forward to playing the next part of Tekken 3 because I will be playing as one of the, well, the main character of Tekken 3. And yes, I've gone the game over, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll be playing as Jin Kazama in the next part. And I'm looking forward to playing as him because, he, like I said, he's the, the main character of this game. Uh, the story's revolved all around him. But I'll talk more about Jin when I get to him. Oh no, no oh! Okay, I thought he was going to do the burning heel kick there, but he kind of turned into something else. No, you don't. I saw that coming. I don't know why he still decided to kick me there. Oh, you see, that was a fail on his part. I don't know why he still decided to kick me right there, when I was still on the ground. He's like, uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, right. Let's do this. Right. Okay, no. Oh, that... I can't believe you blocked that uppercut right there. Alright, take him down like that, kick him in the head, why not? Oh, no, I could have had that there. Alright, there we go, that's better. So, who's next? Oh, Anna, this is stage A, okay, that's interesting. Considering that she's not Lay's rival, that's uh, Nina's rival. And I bet she's gonna give me a hard time now. No, you don't. No, you don't, Anna, not today. Your looks and your charms are not going to defeat me. You may be, you may look pretty on the inside, Anna, but deep down, uh, or the outside, Anna, but see on the inside, uh, you might be just be not the person I think you might be. Round two. Ah, oh, okay, right. Yeah, I think Anna's going to give me a hard time here. That's no good. Why are you battling me? Why don't you go and fight with your sister? Because, I mean, you two have a, a good sibling rivalry. Like, I've no beef with you, so why are you fighting me? See, this is the thing I was talking about, you see, at least with Tekken 2's fights, they're a lot a lot more logical from my point of view, in terms of the 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 stage order, especially the rival fight in stage 8. I mean, well, Tekken 1, should I say, as well, it had that um, good sense of order as well. Alright, so that's one fail so far, how many more to go, I wonder? And I'm surprised I was able to grab Anna there. I actually thought that, that she was going to counter that, but no, she didn't. Oh no, you don't, no. Okay, wait, no, I'm facing the wrong way here completely. No, I'm not, I'm not facing the wrong way. Alright, there we go. Oh no, you don't. No, no, no. No. Oh. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> well, dude, oh, I fall to the ground. And Anna just stomps on me with her heel. Yeah, that's brilliant. Oh, she did that again. No. <laughs> Okay, I'm never doing that move again. Note to self, do not go down on the ground again, but otherwise uh, Anna will just stomp on me over heel. <laughs> right, there we go. 
Oh god, right. Nah! I may have to end up fast forwarding this if I keep failing here. I'm hoping I don't, I don't end up keeping on failing here. No, you don't. Things are going so well now. Come on, come on, uh, me. Don't do this to myself. Yes, I know I'm talking to myself that way. Don't uh, cause me to fail that. Oh my god! Flying Anna. That's not what I wanted. Right, there we go. Fooled her. Take her down again. And then do this again. Oh, no, no. Come on. I want to at least do this. Oh, fine then. Don't let me do it. There we go. Finally got a win on you. Right. No, you don't. Aha! Take that. Where we go next? Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I want. Okay. Aha! Keep missing the kicks. No, you don't. Aha! Oh, I keep... I keep messing up there for some reason. Alright, there we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. I've nearly got... Yes. There we go. Punch to the midsection and it's all over. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. All right, hey, Archie, right. How much of a misery are you going to make this match? Let's find out. Are you going to make this a complete misery? Or are you... Yeah, you're going to make this a complete misery. I can already tell right now. No, you're not doing this. You're going to pay for your crime, say Archie. That's why I'm here to arrest you. Because you're, you're out for Ogre's blood and that's against the law. Because you may be conducting illegal experiments with that. That's why I'm here. I'm here to interrogate you or, or arrest you for whatever crimes you do. Oh. Okay, you knocked me out. Give fair play there, Hayachi. Fair play. Okay, right. I'm surprised I actually hit him with that, but... Oh, no, you don't. You're not stomping me. Hayachi's stomp is a lot more ferocious, I can already tell by that. And I actually countered Hayachi's uh, down punch thing. Oh, God, right. Double kick. Okay, right. No, you don't. Ah, damn it. Okay, right. Alright, let's try this again. Round one. Fight. Okay, right. No, I'm I'm looking forward to playing as Jin next because I think I'm a lot more better with him than I than I am with Lei. Let's be fair here. I think I mean w when it comes to Lei, I'm I'm okay with him. I'm not that great with him. Let's be honest. Oh no, you don't. Ah, damn it. Okay, no knockout by Archie. Come on! I know you don't. Ah. Alright, there we go. Got a grab on you, finally. He's like, mm -hmm. No, how did I fall for that? I'm so confused. <laughs> That's probably what he actually is thinking. He's like, how can I fall for that? Oh, what a knockout. I've got to see that. Instant replay. What a knockout that was. I was not expecting to hit that on Heiachi. Oh, no, you don't. Aha. Oh, you could get me there. Eh? Think again. No, you don't. Oh. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Stop ducking. No, you don't. Aha. Fooled you again. That's not what I wanted to do either. Ah. Oh. Okay, right. No. Okay, right. You're being smart here, actually. I'll give you that. Aha. There we go. And that's it. And Lee's like. What was that, hey, Archie? Come on. <laughs> well, to be fair, he did put up a very good fair fight against me. Right, final stage. Ogre. Oh, no. No, you don't. Oh, okay, right. Now, I've forgotten how to deal with Ogre effectively here. I know he does, like, uh, other fighters' moves, so I need to be careful about that. I don't know what, who he's going to copy, but he's going to copy any random fighter that he's killed. Oh, no, that's that's Lee Chalene's moves. Right, no. Why the, oh, I shouldn't have got up. I should have stayed down. I don't know why I decided to say, oh, you know what, I'll get up and see if I can block it or even just try and stop him. I've forgotten that you can't jump over him because uh, they removed the, the high jump physics from Tekken 2. Which is good, like like I said before in the, the previous Tekken 3 videos uh, that I did. They, they removed that from... Oh, no, you don't. He's hardening up for some reason. Hardening up, like, I don't know why. Like, that attack essentially does nothing, so I don't see why Ogre's doing that. Ah, uh, no, 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 ah, uh, I knew I had him there. Okay, and the lady decided, ah, <laughs> you thought you could get me? Well, I'm back for more. Yes, I am indeed back for more, right. Ah, uh, I'm ready to take more punches as I go. Oh, what the hell? I thought something had happened to the graphics there on my TV for some reason. 
Okay, right, so everything's fine on my computer. So for some reason, I thought the graphics were going a little bit awry on my TV. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it might just be my eyes. Right. Lie down. Oh, he stopped anyway. Okay, right, fine. You're a lot smarter than I thought, Ogre. I'll give you that. Yes, you are very smart indeed. Okay, let's try this again. No. Oh, no, you don't. Ah, damn it. Okay, right, no. Okay, right. Oh, come on, stop counting every move I do, Ogre. This is getting really annoying now. Alright. No. Oh, no. To be fair, maybe I should have probably done more practice with Lay, but whatever. I mean, I've got a good set of uh, moves in, in, my ar in my arsenal here, so I'm just open to. Just... Okay, and I think, yeah, you know, just take the hit. Okay, well, at least you won't get it perfect. But well, fine when you beat me, you just don't get it perfect against me. Round one. No, you don't. Ah. There we go. That's better. No, no. Alright, that's not what I wanted. Aha! Oh, come on! Oh, seriously, come on. I could have gotten right there if you hadn't ducked my... If you hadn't blocked my low kick right there. Oh, okay, right, I actually did a, what, that flip kick move for the first time ever. He was going for something. I don't know what he was going for, but I stopped him, so... No, you don't. I mean, it's kind of sad to say that, like, the true ogre's form... Oh, God, right, okay, yeah, he's doing a bear hug on me. Not very effective if you're not Kuma. Because he's just hugging my legs. It's good strategy, ogre, I'll give you that. Like, you're hugging my legs because you're... You're forcing me to not do my kicks anymore. So good strategy, Ogre. I'll give you that. No, you don't. Aha. Oh, come on. Stop blocking my moves. Ah, okay. No. Ah, okay. Seriously, Ogre. Stop it. Come on, right. I've got you. Yeah, I've got you this time. Right. Now it's time for him to go in this true ogre form. And I don't know how he does this by picking up Heihachi. Like, I mean, that's never really explained. I mean, the SE goes in the true ogre form, but why does he get it from Heihachi? That's my question. Does Heihachi some kind, have some kind of evil power as well? That's my question. I'll leave you guys to theorize about that. It might be related to the Tekken 7 story, you never know. Aha, there we go, and I defeated true ogre on my first go. That's pretty sad if you think about it. This backs up my, my claim right here that true ogre is far easier than normal ogre. So now it's time to view Lay's ending in Tekken 3, so we'll see what happens. I'm guessing that was Lei going through all different seasons, I guess. That's why, that that's what I, I view it as. Maybe it's just doing some training like for the different seasons. I mean, that's my interpretation of uh, Lei's ending right there. But anyway, uh, thank you all very much for watching, guys. And in the next part of Let's Play Tekken 3, I shall be playing as, as I said before, Jin Kazama. So I'll be playing as Jin, the main character of this game. So I'm looking forward to playing as him, guys. And uh, please feel free to like if you enjoyed. Comment down below for your thoughts. And also please feel free to hit that subscribe button for more Tekken 3 videos coming up soon. So until then, everybody, this is Quantic Game here signing off. Have a great day wherever you are, and I shall speak to you later. Till then, goodbye.